meaning the hill of knowledge. The university strives for excellence, hence the name Legon in the local language. Currently, the university has a population of about 53,000 students. 53,000 students. And out of that, we have close to 700 foreign students. About 80% of that particular number are African American students who are here to study different aspects of our of their being who they are, trying to get more insight into their background. In view of that, we have the School of Performing Arts, we have Institute of African Studies. These are two major institutions that play host to the larger number of foreign students in the country. Our first president was Sajid for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. When he became the president, because of the bastardization of our background, of who we are, and a loss of our very being, of African sense of being, he decided to establish the Institute of African Studies and charge it with three major mandates to research and re-establish the civilization, the history, the culture, the values of Africa from our African perspective, giving us the real identity of who we are. That was one of the reasons why when we get to Du Bois Center, you see how it aligns with Du Bois' decision to relocate to Ghana. The second mandate was to see to it our background with the present, how it's impacting, or how the history has impacted on what we are doing, and then forecast into the future to propel our nation to higher heights. To your left, we are passing by the new university sports stadium. It hosted all West, all African games in May. So this place was very, very busy in May. To your right, we have a car park. The car park, vehicles that want to, people who want to go to the university and not have their own means of transport, some of them come to this place and we have commuter buses and taxis that take them to their various places. Some departments, because of the, uh, the size of the university walking to those, uh, their workplace uh, is very problematic. So their workers come to this place and then their vehicles come to pick them to and from the facility. This university was established in 1948. And since then, it uh, started as University College of Ghana and of the Gold Coast then aligned to the University of London. So if you watch the architecture, mostly you see a lot of the Victorian influence, especially when we go further. When we are moving, the runabouts that you see, they have been named after our some of our old uh, college presidents. I, I want to use your, I think that's the term. Yeah, yeah. we call them the vice chancellors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this particular one is named after George Bennett. Now to your left, we are passing by the central mosque for the student population or the university community. We practice freedom of religion over here. But you only be allowed to practice your religion if it does not infringe on the right of others. The space, so this is, that's the green and white building to your left. 
But then where we are getting to now, again to your left, we have what, what we call the bank square. This is where the, almost all the banks on the university campus are located. So is this the financial hub of the university? Yeah, constraints. Right. To your left again, hall of residence. The first one is a graduate hall. The next one is for the general student, the undergraduate hall. This is an annex of one of such halls. This one is named after one of our illustrious sons. Yeah. One of our illustrious sons, John Mensah Saba. So we call it Saba Hall. Initially, we had a low population of female students. So it was only Mensa Saba Hall, and which was a mixed hall, then one female hall. Whilst we had all the traditional halls were five. But then conscious efforts were made to get in a lot more female students. So it's very instructive to know that all the traditional halls now have female students as part of the house. The buildings we are passing by are for some of the senior administrative staff and members of faculty. passing by the maintenance section. They are in charge of the physical development and municipal development of the university. So to your left, we have some of their vehicles and others. We are getting to the School of Performing Arts. The School of Performing Arts coming up to your right. Coming up to your right, we have the School of Performing Arts is train students in various fields of the performative arts, music, dance, drama, sculpture, and all. To your left, the new uh, drama studio, which is under construction. So, and again, to your left, that is the drama studio of the university, the School of the Performing Arts. To your right, the old building of the Institute of African Studies that I spoke to you about. And facing us, come, when we make the round, it will come up to our left. That is the new complex building of the School of the uh, Institute of African Studies, named now after the founder of the institution, Kwame Nkrumah. So it is called the Kwame Nkrumah Complex. That is what is coming up to our right. Coming up to our right. To our right once more, we are passing by the departments of the physical sciences. To your left, we have a Greek department of agriculture. We have department of agriculture. That's to our, our left, sorry. And coming up, after those vehicles, to your left, we have one of the halls of residence called Ikiafu Hall. Ikiafu is a traditional or an account term for farmers. That hall was sponsored, its construction was sponsored by the Kuku farmers of Ghana. 
so it was appropriately named after them. Again, we have the physical sciences to your left, physics, uh, biological sciences, and chemistry are all to this part of the uh, road, the left side. And to the right, we have earth sciences. So to your immediate left, we have the chemistry department. We are making a left. And when we make that left, coming up to your right will be the botanical, the botan department of botany. that when we come back to the bus, we are just by the bookshop. So when we get back on the bus, I will handle that. Thank you. Okay. We will, that's a light, the bookshop is right here. There are vehicles, the bus cannot go there because there are vehicles back out there. in the country. This very section that we are passing by is the annex. The main entrance is just coming up. Yeah, you know. And it's named after the first principal of the university, Maury Brown. He was a British at the time the university was established. He did a lot to ensure that the university you know, took a good footing. So my beautiful people, the bookshop is just behind us. We will get down and just walk in there, spend some few minutes, and then we come back. Thank you so much for your attention. <laughs>